somehow lift the rock. Or maybe I could use my knife that I have uh, to chip away at the rock and excavate my hand. Uh, maybe I could wait it out, shout for help. Uh, maybe I could even use the knife to cut my arm off. Okay, I don't want to cut my arm off. Dude, you're going to have to cut your arm off. I actually said that out loud. <laughs> Within an hour of being trapped, I don't normally talk out loud to myself, um, or call myself dude, uh, actually, <laughs> either. Uh, but the circumstances being what they were, it's, uh, okay, I'm cutting my arm off? Yeah, that one goes at the bottom of the list. <laughs> and now I'm going to work through these other options. And I spend 15 hours, actually, the entire first afternoon and night chipping away at the rock with the pocket knife that I have. I work through then for another 10 hours trying to rig up the pulley system and I, and I actually managed to get a couple of loops of my climbing rope and webbing. You can bring the images back up there and you can see around the boulders up above me in the canyon there using them as an anchor to try to lift the rock. I shout for help calling up out of this chasm that's the one sliver of sky that you can see up above. And I figure out my range of mobility. If I'm going to be here a while, what can I do to, to just kind of give myself a break? I can, I'm standing in a 16 inch wide spot on the ground. Uh, it's maybe only three foot wide at my shoulder height. I can bend my knees a few inches. I can lean a couple inches one side or the other. I can, I'm, otherwise uninjured except for my hand, which is crushed and trapped, but if I could get free, I would very easily continue down the canyon. I would eventually reach a 65 foot drop, I'd have to repel that, perhaps find water on the way out, and eventually hike seven miles and then climb out of the canyon to get to my truck, drive 60 miles to, to get back to civilization.